Hi, my name is Victor. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot an air horn. As any other um, compressed air product, horns are very simple. The only thing that can go wrong with an air horn is if you don't clean them and maintain them, the passages can get clogged and that will cause the diaphragm to break. Uh, another thing happens with compressed air, it creates condensation. So if you don't use the horn for some time, condensation will make that the solenoid, the plunger inside will get stuck. So it will create corrosion and the parts inside will be stuck. So make sure you blow it out every once in a while. Make sure you keep it clean. All the ducts inside are clear. Um, and that's about it. So the main thing is, if the, the horn sounds but doesn't have a full sound, that means the, the diaphragm, it's broken. It's, it's just not good anymore. So we're gonna open this up to show you the diaphragm. All right, so all there is to the horn, it's an air duct and then there's a chamber and then you have the diaphragm. So if this, the, the horn makes a sound but doesn't make the full sound, that means the diaphragm, this disc, is not good anymore. So all you have to do is replace the disc. In this case will be Roadmaster part number 5000, uh, I believe it's 5003. But any questions, give us a call. So that will be one case, one scenario. The other scenario, if that is good, the other thing will be the solenoid. So all you have to do is make sure you open the solenoid. Make sure when you open it up, make sure you place the parts the way you are disassembling it. So when you're ready to assemble it, you put them back in the same order. So as you can see, there's a plunger here. So when you activate this with the electricity, what the plunger does, it opens and closes. So there's a passage here, and this, it's always closed. When it gets electricity, it opens up. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't make any sound, that means the plunger is stuck. And that is because the condensation have created some rust inside and without movement on time, this will just get stuck in there. So all you have to do is disassemble it, make sure this is clean, put a little bit of oil, put it back on and assemble it all the same way. So let's put it back on the same way we took it out. So this one goes this way. There's a uh, spring in here. Make sure everything goes back the same way. And that's all it is. So if I blow on this hole and it doesn't come on the other side, it's closed. Like right now it's closed. But once you put electricity to it, you can hear the sound when it opens up. So it opens right there. So now I can blow on this and you can hear the air coming through the other side. So it's working. So that's all can happen to a solenoid. It's just as simple as that. All it requires is some periodically maintenance. Make sure you operate the horn every once in a while. So keep the plunger moving and freely inside. Uh, that's about it. So if you have a problems with the horn, make sure you give us a call and we can help you over the phone.